This week, CU Boulder released data showing the freshman class this year is 30% students of color. Last year, out of the entire student body, though, at CU Boulder, only 2.6% of students were black or African American, and much of that attributed to athletics. We've talked a lot recently about the prime effect at CU, Coach Sanders and his team raising the profile of the black community on campus. But Boulder's black community goes beyond the campus, beyond the fields. It goes back almost two centuries, and it's being highlighted in an exhibit opening today at the Museum of Boulder, which will tell the stories of the black community. Uh, starting in the 1800s, people who were enslaved here, African Americans who came for the gold rush, uh, those who served in the military, politicians, musicians, artists. Uh, there will also be a section on athletics. Now, see you football team obviously getting a lot of attention this year, but there were great teams throughout its history as I learned. You know, CU tends to only talk about guys from the 90s. From the 50s there were great teams, the 60s there were great teams, the 70s there were great teams. Mm -hmm. Now that, that was Estes Banks uh, telling me about uh, his time there in the si early 60s. He and some other players are recording oral histories for this exhibit. And one of those histories was shared by this man, Eric Harris, who played in the NFL. He played for the Buffs. He was part of the CU team that played Alabama in the Liberty Bowl in 1969. And this is a fascinating story. Minister Glenda Strong Robinson shared with me. The game was in Memphis, which was a segregated city, and black players weren't allowed to eat or stay where the white players could. The thing about CU's team, and that Eric says, and he has tears rolling, and, and so do I when he's telling the story, is that the fight song really became alive. Because the team players said, if they can't go and stay here, we won't stay here. If they can't eat here, and they can't uh, come in here, we won't eat here. They beat. Bama that day because I think because of their unity, wow. their decision to be unified and really exercise the fight song, shoulder, shoulder to shoulder, shoulder. Yeah. fight, fight, fight. Mm -hmm. Love when it transcends the game like Lovely that. Lovely story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and so much history that I think most of us know nothing about. So yeah. check it out. The exhibit opens to the public tomorrow and will run through September of 2025.